Hello there, today's lipstick keywords are blotted, blurred, bitten, smudgy, soft matte, effortless. Sound good? I'll be sharing some lipstick bullets and liquids I love for a blotted look straight from the bullet or they're creamy enough to soften and smudge with your fingertips. I recently reached and accidentally missed the five year anniversary of my channel and in that time you've certainly gotten to know how much I love sheer colour and balmy lip formulas. Pretty picky when it comes to mattes, they must be creamy and comfortable but my liquid lipstick fussiness is on another level. I don't want colour that lasts all day if my my lips feel like they've spent all day in the desert. A few years ago I found my liquid lip comfort zone. Whipped liquid lipsticks or liquid powders, they're the names to look out for. A fluffy, airy, whipped texture completely transforms the idea of liquid lipstick from paint-like, super pigmented, flat looking colour to a sheer soft focus finish. I've been sharing a lot of comfortable lip glosses and lip oils lately, but I spotted a comment asking about blotted lip ideas and felt inspired to film this. Thank you. I've mentioned quite a few of these formulas over the years, some very often, some in older yearly favourites lists, so I thought I'd gather them together. Some a little more pigmented than others, but you can always blot them on or use your fingertip to gently blur. Tried to include a range of shades, but I personally feel like blurred, blotted formulas look best in a your lips but better shade. For me, that's a mid-rose kind of colour, but pick a tone that blends into your natural lip colour or is a tiny bit deeper to enhance it. Also love bitten berries, warm or classic reds, and deeper chocolates in this area too, so let's meet the bullets and liquids. Could I start anywhere other than Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Colour? This is on my favourite lipsticks of all time podium. I've shared many shades since finding this in 2018 and it's still one of the products I get the most messages about because you've tried and loved it too. I think of this as a blotted look straight from the bullet. Sort of a satin matte, it's creamy enough to be comfortable, thin enough that I forget I'm wearing it, very low maintenance, a perfect put it on and don't worry about it for the rest of your meeting, lunch, dinner kind of tube. It has a waxy, citrusy scent, doesn't bother me, but some people aren't a fan. Italian Rose is an everyday warm pink I love. Cranberry, my very first favourite, is a muted brownie red. Ruby is a crisp, deeper red. And Blackberry is a rich chocolatey berry. Always have at least one in my bag. This might as well be Crushed Lip Colour's grown-up, sophisticated sister. My Instagram follower Sarah told me about the Givenchy Le Rouge Sheer Velvet Mattes last year and said, imagine Bobbi Brown's Crushed Lip Colour but in a pair of black heels. This is a luxurious step up with a velvet feel and an instant blurred, diffused, soft focus finish. Loved them so much I searched three countries to find more shades. I actually think they perform best on slightly dry lips so the texture can kind of grip. So if you you apply any lip balm first, just blot it. 16 Nude Boise is a neutral beige powdery pink, my My Lips But Better shade in this formula. 17 Rouge Erable is almost an entry level red called Maple Red with a touch of brown. And 37 Rouge Glanier is a best selling universal red. Quite a strong floral scent to them, but I like it. Chanel's Rouge Allure Liquid Powder Formula launched back in 2018. Its full title is Liquid Matte Lip Colour Blurred Effect. Bingo. This liquid to powder formula squeezes out like a liquid but goes on as a creamy but powdery matte with a blurred effect straight away. Almost like the colour has faded softly but you can build it too. The best bit? Not drying. It almost melts into the lips. The worst bit? I can't see it in stock outside Australia so if they've discontinued this I'm going to be so cross with you Chanel. 978 Bois de Nuit is a rosy berry that's such a pretty natural flush. 956 Invincible is a bold red that's beautiful with minimal makeup, let it do the talking. And 966 Cranberry Red is a deeper decadent berry stain. Slight floral fragrance but I hardly notice it now. I'm sure you know French makeup artist Violette and her inspiring approach to fresh faced meets playful makeup and effortlessly cool Parisian aesthetic. Her Bisou Balm Sheer Matte Lipstick Balm Hybrid Bottles Adjust Bitten Lip. Quite a curious texture, part powdery, part balmy. I've seen a common complaint that it doesn't wear evenly, but I get better results by sticking to light layers or dabbing it on to build colour, not swiping heavily. 
Betise is the classic violette color, a deep bitten pink. Calisson is called a tender beige. No noticeable scent, but it was just reformulated to be more hydrating. Launched the day I'm recording this, so let me know if you try it. Colourpop's Blur Luxe Lipstick is a nice option at a more accessible price point than the first three. It's nine US dollars. I bought one on my last trip to the US in 2019. This is described as a matte with soft blurring pigments, delivering a soft focus, blurred effect with a velvet soft texture. Ding, 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 keywords. One swipe gives you a hint of colour, but you can build it while still having a more laid back look than a solid matte. Virgo Moon is called a deep rosy nude, almost peachy on me. 21 Questions is a toasty burnt orange red and Slow Dance is called Red Cocoa Velvet, a lot warmer than the lip swatches on their website. Quite a sweet vanilla scent here like cupcakes. Oh hi, oh hi. The oh hi lip smudge came highly recommended by many of you a few years ago, but I can't find this anywhere online anymore. Does Ojai still exist as Urban Outfitters in-house beauty brand? Doesn't look like it. We don't have stores in Australia, so what did I miss? This was much softer and creamier than any of the others here. More of a melted feel, but still a soft matte with a blurred, low maintenance look. So Smudge was a very fitting name. Scorpio is a lovely peachy beige medium nude on me. Let me know if you loved any shades back in the day. Hope you bought backups. A very popular liquid in recent years, but it's a fluffy one, thank goodness. Rare Beauty Lip Souffle is a velvety whipped matte with a real punch of pigment compared to the rest in this video, but the airy feel means it also softens and smudges if you apply less and use your fingertip to blend. Not drying, it feels barely there, only a little powdery when you rub your lips together with a floral meets vanilla meets miscellaneous cosmetic scent. Inspire is a bright warm red and found Selena Gomez's go-to shade. Sunny's Face Lip Dip was introduced to me by Harry Makes It Up a few years ago. I know State of Kate is a fan too. They're described as a whipped matte lip cream that gives you the look of soft blurred lips with every dip. Exactly the kind of airy, cushiony, moussey liquid formula I need for a liquid lipstick to feel weightless and comfortable. Very sweet, strong, fruity candy scent. Girl Crush is called Terracotta Rose, very much my vibe, sadly not available on their US site just yet. Finally, a sheer matte I'm sure many of you've met, Glossier Generation G has been around since 2016, just when I was wondering if they'd ever release new shades, three suddenly appeared last week. This is a just blotted without blotting sheer formula that's meant to have a casual, lived in finish. It is the only matte here that could be seen as slightly dry or drying with a harder waxy bullet. It has a lychee rose scent, but I'd never pinpointed that, it's sort of waxy floral. I used the original skinny, flimsier tubes a lot, but the new ones a bit less in recent years. Like is a soft but sneakily bright pink for a bitten boost. Leo is a neutral, milky chocolate brown, and Zip is a warm, summery red. This was in my top five Glossier makeup list, but maybe I should revisit that ranking ahead of the brand launching in Sephora next year. An obvious missing item here is Colourpop's Blotted Lip. Sadly haven't tried that yet, but it's definitely on my list to check out. So please let me know your top shades and how it compares to any of these if you're a big blotted lip lover. I hope this gives you some ideas if you've been searching for an easy, soft matte, velvety, powdery, blurred formula to bring into your life. And I want to hear if you're already a fan of any products that tick those textural boxes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.